and uh, this week it was different. It was it was it was about going over top, and uh, and by the interception. Uh, but it was uh, it was one of those where, as as we've learned to expect, uh, uh, you don't know what when in the game. Uh, you're going to, going to take control, but it seems like there's just the boys still seem to be able to take control. Uh, I tell you, I was I was very very impressed with uh, East Carolina. I think pretty much anybody that knows football uh, knows that we weren't. I mean, we were doing the best we could just to keep it close. They were their quarterback is fantastic. Uh, uh, defensively, they've they're, they're about as fundamentally sound by uh, Paul Jett and what they do defensively. They had to stay. They were going to stop our run. And uh, but they did it with safeties. They did it with safeties. When you do it with safeties, it puts you one on one with wideouts. And they knew it. We knew it. It was they were going to take that chance. And they they died. But that naked is usually when we run a sweep every time. The, the, the counter to the sweep is the quarterback naked, and that's a, that's just a play call. And uh, they covered it, so he threw downfield. Probably as much throw it away. But I, I would hope I would hope be because he was very unhappy with that call, uh, and not because of that we were trying. We could we could have scored now. That we could have sure tried it. When it got down there, we we sat on the ground with it. And I got someone real close to me in my family that wouldn't have done that. <laughs> Terry, with the receivers getting uh, deep a few times on you guys, do you think that George is going to maybe throw some deep balls? Well, of course they're going to throw <laughs> some deep balls. I don't care if they saw it. They're going to throw deep balls. They saw Florida hit two deep ones. They saw about three guys that could have made the difference in that ball game. What happened, that quarterback was schooled all week on getting rid of that ball in a certain amount of time because of the pressure. And they weren't pressured. They just held on. But I could say that was what they prepared for, a quick pressure, get rid of the football, and, and it just boy, it was, it was, it was, it was close enough to scare you. I don't know if it had been the difference, but it would have made it all the way down to the wire. Georgia, yes, Will, Will. We got a lot of problems. We lost Alvis. We lost Robinson. We were, had to move people around. We, had, we, had a, we were a mess almost from the first half on, secondary-wise. Then we got, we got Robinson back in the second half. We started to take charge. Alvis back, Robinson back, and we started to, um, uh, then we started to pick off his passes. About Frank. Frank Sanders. He hurt his. He hurt his. Uh, l l sprained his ankle. His ankle early, but it's one of those that just aches because he he would not. He had to go in, and so we were trying to keep him out of it. But he should be fine. He played the whole game on that. So then Alvin be back on. You know, Philip. I, 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 they played on it, but we got to hope nothing swells up tomorrow. But you know, we we gonna we gonna we got a huge one next week. What about Edwards? He's injured. You know. I don't. I don't know the extent of any of those injuries. I didn't get a report on it. Looked like y'all having some trouble picking up the blitz in the first half. We well, we we blocked it. Uh, it was that. Uh you know, it was everyone was a little different play. The first two running plays, they stuffed us. They blitzed the linebacker, and our fullback uh, thought it was a different type of defense. Uh, and they hit, hit us right in the backfield. The one pass protection, we were doing a, a deep ball, kind of a trick play where he got sacked. We're throwing Sanders on a triple, coming out of a triple cut uh, type of fake, and uh, they it was just too long. It took too long to develop, uh, but they did a good job. They're not a big sack. They've had about one sack a game, and we, of course, we have not been sacked almost by anybody. Probably trying to do too much uh, with the football in the backfield. We got we we kind of don't sit back there very long and we, we did some things thinking they wouldn't be able to put pressure and they did. Terry, they did blitzed make, a lot more than they've ever blitzed. They've, they've been a non-blitz team and they came after us today. Did you make any specific adjustments at halftime or was it just a matter of getting going? A matter of just going out and saying, okay, we, we, a lot of teams will, will play their safeties real close and we'll just go ahead and run it and we'll eventually hit one. But these guys blitzed their safeties and we we just decided, well, you got to go ahead and throw deep and you got to keep on doing it and we did it two or three times in a row. You just got, it's one-on-one -on -one and Frank Sanders is a great jump guy. And Pat Nix has got a marvelous way of throwing a ball up soft. So you, it's like the Alabama. He, he throws the ball so it's catchable. Doesn't overthrow it. Doesn't throw too hard. He gives you a ball that's a little bit underthrown or right on the money and seldom overthrows a deep ball. Terry, it's kind of, it seemed like a little bit of a role reversal from the way it was for you guys early in the season. East Carolina 
they had the control passing game the, the longer drives, and now you guys, now the big plays are starting to kick in, and now Auburn's offense is starting to strike at any time. Yeah, that's not our style. Now, to me, a control passing game, you, you could die by the control passing game now, you know. Uh, you, you, you keep throwing those control things, and all of a sudden you start getting an interception here, an interception there. I think they, had, they end up having four interceptions, and they have been a big team for turnover margin. That's by when they've been successful. They have been unbelievably good. They haven't turned the ball over twice, last two, once the last two games, and three games they haven't turned over at all. Now they got four interceptions today, I think, at least four. And I know that, and that's, that's going to be a difference in the ball game. But that's not our style now, is, is to go out there and ball control short stuff. If you run the ball well and people play the blitz of safeties, you're one on one with your secondary, with your defensive backs and our, our wideouts. Have you ever seen a team or coached a team that is good with interceptions as Auburn is this year? I've never out there. Uh, Jack Hines has been my secondary coach for the last eight years, and he's he's had pretty many that close to every many. Every time he's been with me, it's, it's a, I mean, you saw what it gets you. It gets you deep balls wide open. You know, it gives you four interceptions, and they missed catching three deep balls. And as long as we win, I don't go, you know, he don't go on vacation with us if we, if we lose. But I'll tell you, it's, 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 they're, they're a style. I think more or less they really had some problems uh, when they started uh, losing people and putting people in different people. But there's, they're, they're, theirs is like an aggressive style of secondary, and it's got its pluses and minuses. We saw the pluses today, but didn't see the minuses. Yes. Pluses and minuses about the winning streak. Pluses and minuses. I, I don't know of any minuses in that thing. I, um, except, boy, I do you hate to see it. Just it does make you think about how awful it's going to see when it loses. It's how awful it's going to be when it ends. Because it's going to end sometime. And maybe you love to you love to take it one more week. But we've been real good at not worrying about that. But you know, it does. The longer it goes, the more you think, guys, that's going to be. It's been so much fun. You know. Um, and such enjoyable, but we 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 have to worry about that. We got a big one this week, and seven more days, we got 20 in a row. Other questions? How do you prepare for a team that is strictly long ball, deep ball, Georgia all the time, as compared to some of the different teams you've seen past? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to control the ball with the football offense because you know Wayne Hall will be, will be preparing for that mess, and uh, you've got to just. Uh, 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 mix it up. I'm sure. I mean, I'm guessing what he's going to do. He's going to blitz a little bit. Going to play zone. He's going to give him three deep, two deep, man. And uh, uh, and I've got to run the football and control the football. I haven't looked at their film yet, but I've got to put points on the board. How many do you think? A bunch. If I if I know them, a bunch. Think the kids will be able to stay focused on Georgia instead of oh, yeah. Georgia, Georgia. I half our Auburn fans want to be Georgia as much as Alabama. I know, well, not me, almost as much as Alabama. It is a big, big game for us now. That's a, it's just a Georgia's. A, uh, I'd be run out if I didn't because they're just it's an old it's an old rivalry. Mm -hmm. Are you going to work on the next week? Um, you know, there is, but I, 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 I there was some inside running. I was not happy with our inside running game. I never could quite. They were doing something. That probably was why we were able to go deep. They were taking safeties and putting them outside and stacking their linebackers inside, and they were going to stop the inside run, the outside run. And so we started stretching the outside run uh, like we did last week, and then we started hitting the deep ball. But they never, I never could get that inside. I'm anxious to see why we never get the sprint draw much or the belly play the fullback going much. But but it just shows you can't stop all that and stop the other things. What was your reaction on the Alvis' interception in the end zone? You could have been down 12. Oh, oh, that was big. That was really big. I was just, you know, again, our defense did not, I mean, we did not tackle well. I don't want to, I don't want to say that it takes away from what a, this is a, this back is, I mean, I'd love to have him. He's a great back. And a quarterback is as good, I tell you, he can play for anybody in America and be a great quarterback. Uh, if, if, he's just a great quarterback. But they, they, we, they, we couldn't tackle him very well. Our defense never really uh, stopped him. We just made the big play, interception. And uh, they had 250 or 60 yards at halftime. But uh, until that last score, we still have them to 14 points, and we're going to win if we hold somebody 14 points until that last score with two minutes left. Other questions? Uh, Terry, if they had uh, completed that pass right before half and gone in ahead, would it have been a different game? No, no, uh -uh. Mm -mm. no we'd, have, we'd have thrown the deep ball and, and caught it and scored a touchdown real quick and then thrown another one and caught it and scored, scored a touchdown and got back ahead. <laughs> It might have been a different ball game, but it might well have been. If they had hit, I know one thing, they'd have hit all three of those deep balls that are wide open. I don't know how many we could have hit because they had three of them wide open. And that quarterback, he just he's, he's done a great job. Thanks, guys.